Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Now this week we're taking a look at spatial reasoning and a certain type of question that we like to call puzzle pieces. Let's take a look. In this question type you are given a shape on the left and now because this is spatial reasoning the whole concept revolves around you being able to manipulate these shapes on the paper in your head. So our job is to figure out what must we add to this shape to complete the puzzle and create that original shape on the left. In this question it's a circle and we're given here a quarter of a circle. Now my favourite technique for this is to do some drawing. So if you can't see it straight away, which some of you might be able to already tell me the answer, but if you can't see it straight away, this is what you've got to do, this is the top tip. Have a look at the smaller shape and try and draw that in on your original shape. So can you see here, I'm drawing in this shape over into this corner. And anything that's left over, I go round in my colour or my pen. You can do this on paper if you have resources at home. And I'm just going to shade that in. And by shading that in, it just con consolidates in my mind what the other shape must look like. But there is a bit of a trap. The shape options on the right, the five options to choose from, have been rotated. So it's not going to look exactly like it does on the left here. Now what shape on the right matches this shape on the left? Well, I'm looking for three quarters of a circle, so it can't be A, that's half. C is less than three quarters. D is more than three quarters. And E is just the shape we were given in the first place. It can't be E, that's just a quarter itself. So by deduction, even if I couldn't visualize the rotation, the answer to this question is B. Now, that first question was relatively easy. So let's try and up the ante a bit and we're gonna get harder as we go through. Here's question two, we're given a pentagon, this five-sided shape, and this chunk has been taken out. So let's go back to our strategy, let's draw it in. This line across here, hopefully you can do a line straighter than I can, you're gonna chop off this part and it leaves you with this bit on the right, which again, I'm going to shade in just for my reference. You might not like shading it in, that's up to you. I like to shade it in just so I can see this shape. So I've now got a four-sided shape that I need to try and rotate in my mind. Now guys, there's no shortcut to being able to rotate images in your mind. However, if you do have this on a piece of paper in front of you on a resource, you can just turn the paper, turn it around, visualize it that way. Let's take a look. It can't be A because that's just a pentagon split in half. It can't be B because just by looking, there's no way that B matches my shaded in area. C can't match either. It's not a four-sided shape. It's a five-sided shape. We know it has to be four sides. D is looking promising, I must say. It looks like we could rotate that 180 degrees. It would look very similar. Uh, and E is too small. It's a triangle. It's a three-sided shape. It does not match the shape we've created. So again, just by deduction, even if I couldn't visualize that rotation in my head, the answer is D. Now let's take a look at another one. And you might be thinking so far, it's been quite straightforward. And it's true actually, the first step is always quite easy. All we have to do is copy where the cut happened. So let's do that here. That's where the cut happened roughly. And now I'm going to just draw around what's left. Hopefully you can see here how this is a four-sided shape. That's gonna be important, hopefully. Maybe we can get rid of some answers that aren't four-sided shapes. But what I will say is this. First step, drawing the line, easy. Second step, when it might have been rotated, it gets a bit trickier, and this is a good example of that. So first thing, let's always use deduction. We know our missing piece is a four-sided shape, so we can get rid of D, that's a triangle, and we can get rid of E, that has multiple sides because of the little angle in there, does not work. So it's either A, B, or C, and I know what you're thinking, because I'm thinking the same thing. These all look very similar, so how are we going to manage to separate these out and pick the right answer? Well, we need to look at the angles. Okay, the angles are really important. Look at this shape here. How many right angles are in this shape? There are four angles in total. How many of them are right angles? Just one. So we need a shape with one right angle. Can you see here how shape A has two right angles? It doesn't matter how we rotate it, it will never change the number of right angles. So it cannot be A. We're left with B or C. Now, out of those two, has anyone noticed anything? because I have. B has two right angles. Our missing shape cannot possibly have two right angles. It has one right angle in the corner and the others are either obtuse or acute. The answer can't be B. 
So if you're really stuck counting the number of sides and checking the angles, obtuse, acute, right angle, is gonna really help you carry on your deduction. So once more, we've managed to get rid of all of the wrong answers and we're left with C. This is the last question we're gonna to do together before I give you one to try yourself. So let's take a look. Part one, quite straightforward. This is as tricky as it gets in part one because you might notice that we're actually cutting across a gap as well. So let's just do it. Let's put it in. This top line goes above that point and just below the other one, just like that. It just cuts it off. There's no gap coming in from above. However, the lower line certainly does go across the gap. So we're gonna cut across that gap there. And what I'm gonna do here is really boldly in blue, go around the edges that are left over. Now in blue, you can see on the screen now, that is the shape we're looking for. It is a rectangle, and I might draw it again underneath just so I've got a really clear vision, if I want to do that. A rectangle with almost like a triangle space popping in just like that. Let's see what we can get rid of. Uh, it can't be A. The triangle popping in makes a right angle. There's the hint again, looking for angles. There's a right angle here. There's no right angle here at all, so it can't be A. It can't be B for the same reason. It's not a right angle. We're looking for angles and sides and shapes that are the same. It cannot be B, so we got rid of two answers straight away. It can't be C. It can't be C because there are two gaps coming in. And we know for a fact from our cut, only one side has the gap coming in. It's this side here. So it's not A, it's not B, it's not C. Deduction and drawing, we've got to two answers already. D or E? Well, guys, um, I don't even think I need to tell you the answer for this one. It's not D, that's just a rectangle. Absolutely not. Get rid of that answer. We've not really had to use spatial reasoning at all in our brain to turn things. We've used deduction, we've used logic, angles and sides. We've got the answer, it's E. As always, there's going to be a question for you to take a look at at home. As soon as you've got an answer, using the techniques we talked about, I want you to put it in the comment section down below. And we'll see you next week for another video.